let's take a look at some symbolism of the sacred mushroom in the early Christian mass. So this skull cap is worn by ordained members of the church. The red is worn by cardinals, and the white cap is worn by the pope. During the Eucharistic prayer, the priest will place his zucchetto cap onto this hat stand called a fungolino, which is Italian for small mushroom. The cap, obviously conical of a mushroom shape, is removed from the priest during the Eucharistic prayer because now the real presence of Christ is among them. So the priest and his cap is just a stand-in symbol for the actual Amanita mushroom. A mosaic in the Basilica of Achaia in northern Italy shows a ritual basket filled with Amanita mushrooms. That part of the building is very old and it predates 330 AD. Here is another very early symbol of the Eucharist found in Roman catacombs. It's said to be fish and bread. However, I believe it is a group of psilocybin mushrooms growing. While Amanita was the main source of God on Earth, psilocybin must have been a good substitute, especially as they were driven underground and probably learned how to even grow it in the catacombs that they worshipped in. The dress of the cardinal is a red and white, which is characteristic of the Amanita and even contains the sort of skirt of the Amanita. Here is the skirt of the Amanita, and the scabs on top are remnants of the universal veil which encases the mushroom when it's first growing, and when the mushroom emerges from its vulva, it scatters them. Here are some verses from the Song of Songs found in the Old Testament. It is a love song personifying the Amanita Muscaria as a beautiful woman. In modern music, we still do this as a drug is often personified as a lover. The sacred mushroom is described in many different ways in these verses, such as a bejeweled face and whose house is of cedar, which of course is the mycorrhizal tree for the Amanita. Here are some more verses describing the sacred mushroom. Its face is hidden behind a veil, and it has teeth like a flock of sheep just shorn, which is reminiscent of the scabs of the universal veil. Your temples behind your veil are like the halves of a pomegranate. If you cut a pomegranate in half, it is red and looks like the cap of a mushroom. Your neck is like the Tower of David. This is in reference to the stem of the mushroom. And on it hang a thousand shields, which is again a allusion to the cap of the mushroom as a round shield. And so on and so forth with other symbolism. The Song of Songs was recited on the Sabbath of Passover week. And finally, the Last Supper took place on a Passover meal, and this is where the Eucharist was established as a tradition. Christ was a personification of the mushroom as God's flesh on earth. So these were just a few examples of early Christian symbolism of the sacred mushroom. Thanks for watching.